and welcome back here to Pryor's Flat in this game between Tyndale and Stocksfield. Stocksfield still batting here. Eight overs to go until T. 189 for four. That's what Stocksfield are. 189 for four wickets. And it's Henderson and Patterson at the crease. We've lost two wickets since we were last on air. And now it's Josh Wenton about the ball. But um, he's just held up there by umpire Davidson. So we've got plenty of spectators on the ground. We've lost the sun for a minute, but we've um, it's still nice and warm here. Renton bowls, and that's beaten um, Henderson outside the off stump, the left-hander. Angled across him there, and he went forward. And he just uh, presented the bat, but it flew through at about tummy height there to Crichton, who was standing well back behind the stumps. So 189 for four. Dinity out. He was third out at 138 and Wiley was out, the last man out as Fenton's in again now to bowl over the wicket, drive, straight drive, a lovely shot and a lovely shot there from Henderson, over pitched from Fenton, forward, cover dri straight drive just um, between the stumps and Mid off, deep mid off there. Hello. Uh, like yes, I'll take them grapes. Thankfully, the mouth's getting a bit dry. Although we've just started, <laughs> we've just started. <laughs> right here we go then. Here's Renton again now. 193, the score. Now for four, Renton in and bowls short, and that's run off the edge. Um, through the vacant third slip area up towards the third man boundary. Newton picks up now and throws in, and there's a good shot and it's hit the stumps and it's ricocheted off they've got two they're going to have to run here and they were going for a third but uh, they declined the third um, a double player there Crichton let it hit the stumps and two more added to the total so that's the end of Renton's over and two more there to Henderson he's gone to 18 so the end of the 43rd over a maximum of 50 Stocksfield 195 for four Patterson 14, Henderson 18, the men out so far, Marison Archer, El Denithi and Wiley. An excellent 89 run partnership between um, Wiley and Denithi. Wiley scored 52, a nice 50 for him there and Denithi 68. And we've got a change of bowling at this near end to us now, the clubhouse end. It's going to be Callum McCabe who comes back on and it's been Matty Scott another good day two wickets yesterday and two wickets again today but here's Callum McCabe going in to Patterson no slips that's outside the off stump and it wasn't wide enough to cut but uh, Patterson um, attempted it and he played and missed outside the off stump so that keeps the score at 100 and 96 for four. Now here's Callum McCabe again. Just about the ball. Turns at the end of his run. Here he is into Patterson. Tries to cut again outside the off stump and plays and misses through to Crichton. And the ball goes around the offside field. So we've got spectators on the seats across on the Kingsgate Terrace side. We've got spectators down by the house end, across at the tennis courts as well, standing on the boundary down there, and a few up on the bank side as well. So a busy after busy Sunday afternoon here at Pryor's Flat. Preceded everything preceded by an ex player's luncheon. But in goes McCabe again, and that's Jarvie. He's going to be out, is he? Tom Candon underneath it, and he takes it low. And Patterson is out. Patterson's out for. 15, the score now for Stocksfield, 196 for 5 in the 44th over. And McCabe takes his second wicket of the afternoon. He took, he took the second wicket to 4. So he takes his second wicket of the afternoon as he's taken the fifth wicket as well. So Patterson out for 15. And the Tyndale players gather up there in the middle of the field. And... Um, at the, just closer to this near end actually
and the applause there, slight applause there for Patterson as he made his way off. So we still haven't got the sun back yet. Um, McCabe it is who has taken that wicket and he's just making his way back towards the end of his mark. <laughs> and it's going to be McCabe again who goes in to bowl when the new bat for Stocksfield eventually gets up to the crease. Um, the batsman crossed there, so it looks like it's going to be Henderson to um, take the strike. <laughs> so here we go, here's McCabe again now. We've got um, a fine leg and a third man in place. Um, a long off and that's on the leg stump and McCabe runs forward to field that one. And Henderson just stays where he is. And when McKay bowled that ball there, he saw, it, saw where it went. And he never actually stopped running there, he just kept on going. And the quicker he went there, he saved that single. So 196 for 5 now, Stocksfield. And it's Henderson, the left hander, facing McCabe. Over the wicket he goes. Henderson drives and that's um, half stopped there by Josh Renton at extra cover. It took a nasty bounce on one of the cut pitches but Tom Kant it is who um, cleans up there and picks it up at wide long off. So just a single to the total there. Henderson's gone to 18. The score's gone to 197. So here we go again now. It's um, McCabe to bowl again. It looks like Thirlwell on strike. Presents the bat and pushes it down the onside this time. Just off the straight between um, mid off, mid on and the stumps there. And he doesn't get a run and that's the end of the over. The end of the 44th. Stocksfield 197 for 5. It is um, Henderson 18 not out at the moment. And he'll take the strike at the start of this next over, which is about to be bowled by um, Josh Renton. He hasn't got a wicket yet, he took two later on yesterday. Tom Kant's brought him on a bit earlier. So there's going to be um, a long on, a mid off inside the circle. The spectators over there clouding the fielders. There's a deep square leg and a third man and a fine leg. He's bowled him, he's out. It was a full toss, it must have moved a bit and dipped on him late there, Henderson. He played forward. And the ball hit the off stump, it leans back, and Henderson is out. So Renton gets his first wicket of the afternoon. And the score now, 197 for 6, Stocksfield, um, in the 45th over. So 5 to go after this one. And Henderson makes his way off here. Just up the player's balcony steps, just across to the left. We're down by the, in front of the big windows in the clubhouse here, at pitch level. And the Tyndale fielders out there just having a little chat in little groups at the moment. Um, it is, um, at the moment, nobody too eager to get on with things here. The sun just about appearing again. We're in the shade up here at the clubhouse end. And it's going to be Josh Renton to continue anyway. And um, where are we now? 197 for 6. So they've surpassed the score from yesterday. Stocksfield, although they were they wouldn't have got as far as this, they were only chasing 190, um, 197 for 6 at the moment. And there's lots of people walking past over to the tennis courts and um, they've been heading across with strimmers and pitchforks. Don't know if they're going to play tennis for them. Um, I can't see anybody playing tennis at the moment, but Renton's in again for the first ball after the wicket there. And that's outside the off stump and it's through to Crichton and there's no run. It's 197 for 6 still. So for the new bat here, 
uh, we've got a deep square leg we've got a third man and a final leg we've got a backward point to deep cover an extra cover that's the captain can to deep mid off and a deep mid on and a mid wicket and a deep square leg renting in again now that's down the leg side this time and there's no contact although the shot was played but it goes through to Crichton who takes um, the ball cleanly about knee height there and passes the ball round the leg side field up there too you and Stevenson at the moment he pops up a little catch to Josh Renton so he, he's just about to turn at the end of his run he comes in towards us away from the hills there above the riding at Acom he's in and bowls and that's played away the leg again I don't uh, hit the pad maybe that one and umpire Davidson yes just gives a little tap of the knee there and that takes the score to 198 for 6 in the 45th so we've had two drinks breaks this afternoon although the over 8 has been good they're going at about 17 or 18 an hour at the moment Tyndale even with those two drinks breaks um, but Josh went in again now Rushes up past the umpire and bowls, and that's bowled outside the offside, off stump that time. And Thurlbull just has a little go at it, but um, he um, just reaches and misses, and it goes through to the wicketkeeper. There's one or two spectators just cross in front of the scoreboard up there in the top corner, and their shorts and t shirts. It's that sort of day, really. Renting again now ball this time on the off stump and it's defended out there along the ground and Kant picks it up at short extra cover and there's no run and that's the end of the 45th over so five to go here in this first innings um, 198 for six Stocksfield Phil Ledbetter just meanders past there on about his 17th circulation of the pitch of the field And um, Callum McCabe it is who's going to bowl. We look as if we've got somebody having a drink down on the boundary there. It's Sam Peter. He's up now. Now he's down at square leg, deep square leg. For McCabe, there's a third man, a fine leg, a mid wicket, mid off, mid on, extra cover, deep cover, and a backward point. Driven this time, and it's up there for one run to wide deep mid off and that's Ollie Fletcher who picks it up and that takes the score to 199 Fletcher an excellent catch to um, remove Marison he of 61 yesterday in yesterday's match a one handed catch running backwards was the catch from Fletcher but McCabe again now bowls and uh, a little tentative shot there from Thurlwell and it just goes past the edge through to Crichton there was no contact though so um, the score and the wickets column remain the same and we're heading up to three three hours now we're 13 minutes away from three hours this innings in goes McCabe again and that one's um, played up there towards third man but it's intercepted by Paul Newton on the edge of the circle there and that's the applause there it's 200 up for Stocksfield in 168 minutes in the 46th over so here we go again now here's McCabe over the wicket up past umpire has and bowls and that's a short one outside the off stump and um, that was just a little um, wide that one didn't cause the batsman any trouble there and it goes through to Crichton who rolls the ball right the way back up the pitch towards us here to Kant at mid on <coughs> and is the well, at the bottom of this Stocksfield innings now four wickets remaining 200 for six that's uh, half driven through the onside this time. There's a shot at the stumps and Renton it is who... Oh, it's missed. There's a double play and there's going to be four overthrows there. And four it is. And 
Um, it was Renton who threw there. It was missed by the first fielder there. I think it was Scott. And even the second fielder, Fletcher, a spalling dive couldn't um, handle that one. So there was five there, actually. The batsman got two for a single. That takes it to 205 for six now. As in goes McCabe again. And that one's turned round the corner up towards long leg. And Pryor's flat. It's picked up by Newton now. That's David Newton who throws into the wicketkeeper at the far end. That's Jamie Crichton. And that's the end of the over. One added off the last ball there. 206 for six. Um, rather spoiled the over there for McCabe. Time over throws. But uh, 206 for six after 46 overs. And it's all movement on the field. We're going to have a change of bowling at that top end. Um, Tom Cant, the captain now, with his shirt just slightly hanging out over his um, left hip. He's going to come on again. And here he comes now. The scoreboard just has a little um, hissy fit there, but it's back now. 206 for six. And Kant will be bowling to no slips. Um, no fine leg. Got a deep square leg, a deep mid-wicket, a long off, a long on, and a deep cover. Bowls now, and that's in the air a bit, pushing to the offside. But it was short of um, Sam Peter there with extra cover. He picks it up on the bounce and throws it back to Kant at the top end. Now here he comes again now. Thirlwell just turns that one round the corner again up towards backward square leg in the tennis courts. And it's picked up there by Matty Scott over to the left. So one more to the total there. That takes it to 207. Now here's Kant again now. Bowles, driven a nice shot, but oh, good fielding there by Peter, diving to his left, at short extra cover. And there was no runs, a good shot for nothing there. And Kant just turns at the top end again, his light coloured hair blows in the wind as he's up now and bowls. And again, that's a better shot this time, and well, it was as good a shot, but he directed it better, placed it wide, more square of extra cover there, up to Josh Renton on the deep cover boundary, across to the right, and um, there was another one added to the total. So the scoreboard seems to have sorted itself out now. Um, it's reading 207 for six at the moment, with that single, so um, we'll go with that for the moment. Any recalculations, we'll bring them straight to you. As in comes Kant again now, and that's down the leg side, and. Um, it's going for four, and uh, did it take the pad, or a little bit on the pad? No, it didn't take anything. Four buys there, so um, we've had a few buys this afternoon, probably more than Tyndale would like. Um, but umpire Davidson there on the mark with his signal, and the signal for four as well. So 211 for six now, Stocksfield. And we've got um, Cant about the ball again. In he comes now, creeping towards the end of the innings, and that one kept a bit low, and the attempted cut there from Thirlwell um, played over the top of it, and it went through to Crichton, and Crichton takes the ball behind the stumps there, so as we approach the tea break, um, it's 211 for six, Stocksfield, Thirlwell, and I think it may be Brown out there as well, but I haven't had any uh, confirmation from my scoring mate up there in the box to our left, Mr. Wicks. And it's going to be McCabe to take up the attack again from this near end to us, the clubhouse end. And here he goes now. We've got um, no slips for McCabe, same field as before. Um, four out. Five in, that struck him on the pad this time, and the ball ricochets up towards the scoreboard there at third man, but doesn't get that far. Paul Newton clears up, and the leg buys signalled by umpire Heslop. 
and it's 212 now for six so it looks like we're having um, this ongoing um, troubles with the scoreboard here but um, they'll sort it out every confidence in them as in goes McCabe again now to bowl and that one's pushed back down the pitch slightly in the air but it comes just off the straight on the leg side up to Kant there at deep mid on just in front of us and slightly to the left so we've got a long off in place as well so we have got five out now Ollie Fletcher was disguised behind the sight screen for a moment there as in goes McCabe again and that's hit straight again and just to the leg side a nice shot shot at the stumps and that just misses at the near end here from Kant and that was a single through um, which takes Thirlwell on to strike that's 214 now 214 for six Stocksfield and here's McCabe again and he goes to bowl high drive and he's going to be out this time is he yes taking an extra cover and that's Thirlwell gone didn't get hold of that one and it um, skied up into the offside there and it didn't get very far, didn't get outside the circle, but um, caught there. And it's Maddy Scott who caught it in the extra cover position there. So 214 for seven now, um, Stocksfield. 214 for seven. So McCabe gets his third wicket of the afternoon. That's bolstered his figures a bit. And the leg spinner Thirlwell just makes his way off. And the new batsman... Wood, 27 not out yesterday, made a fight of it towards the end of the match yesterday. So in he goes, left-handed, Wood, as I say, 27 not out yesterday, and um, we're in the 48th over here. So two to go after this one, um, in this first innings, and then the players can all disappear for tea. So we're four minutes short, short of three hours for this innings now. If my um, calculations were right and uh, wrote the right time down. I've got 1.26 that we started now. And we're just creeping up towards 25 past four. Um, so wood, no slips in place. Um, we've still got the long on in this time. In goes McCabe and that's um, nearly forward came Wood and it struck him on the pad and bounced off towards behind square on the offside this time and it's fielded there by Crichton running round to his left at the top end and there was no runs though, still 214 for 7. Now here goes McCabe again, bowling to Wood. Wood goes forward and um, this skews off the face of the bat. Again, it goes along the ground there to Paul Newton at backward point and there's no run and that's the end of the 48th over. 214 for seven, Stocksfield. Um, the two batsmen at the crease now, they haven't been in too long. Um, we've got David Newton jogging up towards this near end. I don't think he'll be coming back on the bowl. He's going to go down to short final leg, is he? And Tom Kant just meandering up with his hands on his hips at the moment, up to the end of his bowling mark. So, yes, we're going to have the deep square leg. We're going to have deep mid-wicket over by the tennis courts, a long off, a long on, and a deep cover. Short third man in as well, and a backward point. And that's edge between the two of them. Oh, a lucky spin there for the fielder. Um... That was going right through between backward point and short third man. But um, the spin of the ball there from that nice late cut was uh, it just took the ball towards Newton as he was um, going round towards it and forward. So just the one there. 215 for seven now. Stocksfield. Wood on the strike. Four or five spectators up there by the scoreboard. There's two ladies sitting up there on deck chairs. They've been there since the start of play. In comes Kant again now. 
and that one turned away with some wood going forward and he played and missed didn't have a swing at it though didn't try to play it anywhere just looked to defend it there and um, it's still 215 for 7 now here's Kant again now in he comes bowling the wood he loops this one up full and Wood drives it up towards the long off boundary where it's Stevenson who picks up just to the right of the scoreboard up there and throws it into Kant and there was one run Wood gets off the mark 216 now for 7 with 10 balls remaining Kant in and bowl now and there's a swipe at that one but didn't time it and it just runs out there inside the circle to McCabot who runs in from the deep mid wicket boundary <coughs> another single to the total 217 now here's Kant again and he comes round the wicket this time to the left handed wood and a swing and a miss there outside the off stump and he got some bounce there Kant took some grip and Crichton took that under his armpit just about uh -huh. but uh, he took it cleanly now he has wood again uh, quite a wide stance the left hander smacks this one high there might be a catch for Rainford underneath it it's gone down though they've got one are they coming back for two no they'll just settle for one there Rainford lets that one go it was a hardish chance up there at long on for the left hander so one to the total at the end of the over there 218 for seven and um, Wood goes, he'll have the strike at the start of the next over and umpire Davidson there just drops one of his counters or something and has to bend down and pick it up but he's just walking off down towards where he'll be in the point position for the left-hander Wood so Ollie Fletcher just um, carries the hard hat out to the boundary rope at this near end and across to our left he's going to go inside the circle at deep mid on, Kant's coming down the long off here, just about 15 or 20 yards to our left. Um, and we've got McCabe going in again now, bowling to Wood. He's up there now and bowls, he's forward and a swing, another swing and a miss. And it went past the off stump, and he's liking this. He had a good innings yesterday, and he always uh, it's always good fun when you got a batsman like this just about to play anything you like so he just sets himself again those big thick forearms he's a good bowler as well but here he goes now here's McCabe let's see what happens this time in he goes bowls a big swing and uh, he misses again outside the off stump um, didn't get in the line with that one so another runless ball there and this is the last over we've got here McCabe has um, started a couple of balls so far. This is the 50th over. 218 for 7. Wood from McCabe. Swing and miss. Outside the off stump again. Three similar shots there. And uh, if he'd made in contact, if he'd made contact, I think we might have had a few more on the board here for Stocksfield. But uh, he hasn't, so they're still at the same score as they were at the start of the over so here's McCabe again in he goes last over of the innings here comes forward and that's a nice shot a better shot that time and it just runs it out there to Sam Peter with extra cover across the ground and he gets a single and that takes the score to 219 for 7 can McCabe here just if you get another wicket for Tyndale yeah, in these last few seconds would secure another bowling point for them. McCabe in now, bowls outside the off stump. And that one goes through to Crichton, so um, there was no run there, but no wicket neither. 219 for 7, Stocksfield, as we approach the tea break here. And the sun sort of obscured by a thin layer of cloud at the moment we're in the shade though it's still quite warm out there as in goes McCabe again now edged four runs 
Four runs up to the fine third man boundary at the top end there, and I think that'll be the end of the innings it is. There goes McCabe, three wickets to McCabe um, this afternoon. And Stocksfield finish from their 50 overs, 223 for seven from their 50 overs. And the two not out batsmen just make their way off now. Um, they've batted out the innings, they can't do any more than that. There's only 50 overs, 223 for seven. Um, and David Newton took a wicket, Callum McCabe three. Matty Scott, another good afternoon for him, two wickets. And Josh Renton took the other one of the seven. So there we go. Um, as the field empties here, the players all make their way off. And the two umpires, they're off for a cup of tea. And the applause there. The applause there just for the Tyndale fielders just leaving the field. And um, as the field empties, there's... Hardly any points staying here for you. Go and get yourself a cup of tea or a drink of pop or whatever you're doing. I hope you're enjoying your afternoon if you're out there in the garden or having a barbecue or at the cricket anywhere else this afternoon. I hope you're enjoying this good weather. But from a parched Priors flat for now, we'll be back with an update at 5 o'clock. Um, the players will just have started. Tyndale will take up the chase. Will have taken up the chase by then. They'll need 224 to win in this match this afternoon. 224 to win so we'll be back with an update and perhaps a few of us of commentary and then we'll let the afternoon drift along and be back within the hour after that as we see how Tyndale get on as they head into evening and try and get this total of 224 to win but for now from Priors Flat I'll let you talk amongst yourselves for just a while and we'll be back with an update at 5 o'clock speak to you again then